Hello and welcome to Elite Joe Special and uh, today we'll be launching into a brand new software. I'm going to be going on to the ArcGIS Pro. So if you notice for the past seven years I have been only on ArcGIS. So it's time to evolve. So we'll be looking at the ArcGIS Pro but we're we'll beginning from the introduction looking at the interface we'll be looking at how the ArcGIS Pro is and uh, what makes it not better than the ArcGIS desktop all right so ride with me on this journey so it's gonna be a, a bit of longer video so you will have to keep up anyway so um, the Pro version is much much different from the um, desktop in the sense that in the desktop we have plenty of software being given we have the app map we have the accent as a separate entity we have the app catalog and then we have the um app globe all right so they are basically in a different package on the um app gis desktop now it's a bit of not the same on ArcGIS Pro. They have integrated all of them into one. So here we have this is more like our Arc Map. This is our Arc Catalog. This is our 3D scene. That is our accents. And then this up as our Arc Globe. Anyway, so uh, if you open here, it means you're going to Arc Map. If you open here, you're going to Arc Catalog. That means I know the purpose of our catalog is that it helps you um, manage your data effectively, effectively and then the accents project your 3D view of the earth, right? So then you can also choose to start without a template. So it's everything has been integrated into one. So we'll be starting with ArcMap. So when you double click, you click once on it, they're going to ask you for What's the project name? The project we're gonna work on, what's the name? So let's say Elite. Alright, so it's asking you location. By default, ArcGIS is on desktop. So the ArcGIS Pro or ArcGIS, ArcGIS Map, they have the same. So they are all on your uh, document. So but I am more like the organized type. So I have all my work. It's a folder on my storage drive drive call work okay so i'll go to this pc and then go to my storage device and then locate work so i'll set save it here for me all right so and then i'm going to say okay so it's gonna load it requires internet for your information so with that internet you'll be able to access some of the futures all right so uh, like the base map and the rest, you'll be able to access them if there is no internet. So consider it's opening a new map, right? So it'll take a couple of time. Okay, so it has opened and then you can see that all the continents of the world is represented in the map. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to go through the basics. Now, I will say if you are conversant with ArcGIS desktop, um, you just need to take a few time and then you will master ArcGIS Pro. It is almost the same thing, just that there are a little bit of tweak and some, you know. Just trying to be them anyway. So um, let's start from the map. All right, under the map, on desktop, you see that these are more like the toolbar. So we have a variety of tools here. We have the map, we have the inside, we have the analysis, the view, the edit, the imagery, and then the share button. Not really a button, but it has tools under it. So we're going to take it a quick from the map. So 
Here we have the Explore tool. If you click on any from the Arc Desktop, ArcGIS Desktop, you know that they have provided a portion where anytime you click on a tool, it tells you one or two things about the tools. All right, so Explore tool. And then when you see a deep down arrow, it means there are other things there. All right, so there are other tools there. So that's what most of this means. So we have the previous extent that is I'm working on something and I wanted to go back to the previous extent. We have the next the, uh, the next extent. Then we have the fixed zoom, which we already know. But this time around, it's a fixed zoom out and a fixed zoom in. All right. So we also have uh, the full extent. These are all available on the desktop. Okay. So then we have uh, the zoom to selection. That is, it zooms only to selected part of the whole thing. Then we have the bookmark, which is also available on Arc Desktop. So zoom to create, manage, bookmark for map within a project. Okay, so it's so once ever you whenever you click uh, on it, it shows you. So we have the go to X Y. So let's say it's going to bring out about. So let's say I have a coordinate, just one coordinate. I want to plot it. Normally in AutoCAD, you remember that when you once coordinate it, it goes and then drop in the point. Let's say I'm just going to use one. So let's say I have 7.22 on the longitude and uh, 9.34 on the Then I press enter. So you see that it has it's located in Nigeria and then I think if I am not mistaken inside Nigeria it's around Wokari between Benue and Tarawa State it's around somewhere there if I'm not mistaken so let's check between Benue State and Tarawa we might see it I think so let me allow this to Show us where it is. So, oh, this time around, you're saying it's in Abuja. All right. So, it said it's in Abuja. So, that's how you can use the XY locate tools. Okay, the next we have, I have to be a bit faster anyway. So, the next we have is the base map. So, if you click on the base map, the drop down, you'll see all the base maps that are available. Okay, we have the imagery, so it displays the imagery. We have the streets maps, we have the topography, we have the terrain levels. We have a, quite a lot of them. We have the firefly imagery, right? We have open streets, and then we have enhanced contrast dark. We have enhanced all of this. You can open any of them, and then let's say we we'll open the imagery, right? It's gonna open. It's going to be added so you will see it yeah so now another important thing i want is if i just want to digitize some point i think i don't really need to bring another extra image i could just start digitizing i think so anyway i'm still exploring myself so i believe because i why <laughs> if i have a base map already why do i need to bring another one that's just my thought anyway yeah so um you could open as many as possible. On open streets, let's open the street maps. Uh, right, so you could see the street maps that's open in Nigeria. You could, once you let's, uh, I am in Zaria, so let's zoom to where I am. <laughs> All right, so, uh, okay, let me, Take a look. This is Sokoto Road where I am at the moment. Okay, this is a railway hospital around PZ. Okay, so um, so this is basically you could see the buildings digitized there and all that. So so basically this is what those basements can do. So. I'm not going to go further in that explanation. Then we have the add data. As we know from the Arc 
desktop, ArcGIS desktop. We have the add data tool, and you could see virtually all of this. Now, here under the add data, you know, in ArcGIS uh, desktop, you'll find out that once you go to file, but here I'm not seeing file anyway. Once you go to file, you'll find add data at XY point, axe root, event, and all that. Here it's all the put everything under the add data. So under the add data, we have the normal add data. You also add any data to add GIS, add map as possible. I also know that you can drag and drop and it's going to pick up. Then we add from path as you're adding from either a local path, maybe like people using a local area network and then those using wide area network anyway, then you can add from a web. So and then you go add the XY data. You can add the route events. You can add the query layer and as many as possible. All right, so that's that's for that. Then also the add graphic layer, you go add graphics. Okay. So you see I've added two graphics anyway. And then we have the select tool. Now on the ArcGIS, we have the selection tool. And this one, once I select, let's say I have anything to select, I could select it. Then we also have select polygon, select lasso, you know, we've introduced quite a lot of tools here, the trace, the lines and everything. And then we have the select by attributes, this for query, okay? So once you want to do a query, you select by attribute. And as we are going on this course, we will have a time to explore and explain all of this in details, okay? All right, then we have select by location. They are all selections under selection tools. Then we have the attributes when you want to. So no problem, we are moving on. And then we have the zoom, we have the clear, you know, well, clear the selections. We have the measure tools, which is also available on the ARC GIS desktop, but those ones were not distinguished like this. And I am being amazed by what I'm seeing here. So we have the measure distance, we have the measure area, you know, measure the distance, measure the area. Okay, let's say we want to, let me see if there's any river, okay. Let's say we want to measure the area of this river here. So let's see. I'm only going to pick part. All right, so I'm not going to pick all of it. The ones, the part I pick, uh, so it's telling us the area. It's showing us the area of um, the portion uh, I have selected. Okay, so the parameter is shown down here. It's just showing the segment kilometer, the area, and all that, the sum in square kilometer. So basically, these are how you could use these tools. And then you see that I didn't bring any extra imagery, but it's not possible. <laughs> My Baba Agjaes desktop will only show you a plain map. You have to bring an image. You must do a reference. Anyway, we're still going to do a reference. We're going to see digitize, but it's quite easier here. You can see, I think you could bear me witness that this is quite easier here. You, you don't really need to bring any image. So you can see that you can actually do any country of the world at the peak and back on you of you being on ArcGIS Pro and with your internet. So when we have the locate, I could I can locate anything, I can search, and then I can layer start a search. That is within the layers I have, I can search out anything within the shortest distance, right? So we have the infographics, and then we have the com coordinate conversion. Now you convert coordinate notation from one notation to another format, right? So there are quite a lot, but then we will not be able to explain all of these one by one, but as we go, we'll keep doing that. So if this is a coordinate, I can actually convert it to another coordinate, I think, but where well, we explore it together, I told you. So I'm also entering here new. So we are learning, we're teaching ourselves. So let's clear it. And then we have the download map. 
yeah we have you can actually download anyway i have not explored this feature but when i do you will be the first to know all right so then moving on we have the insert tools okay the insert tools we have add folder like normal add connections on arcgis desktop and you see that this is also a connection and then you could see what's available here you see the database and then you see file your database you see that available but then i think what is not found here is the personal your database maybe they lost it back in that side they, it, it didn't follow us here then the new map where you can also add a new map like from here you could change you go to new base map we have the new stereo map we have the uh add globe you know and then we have that i'm just trying to use the previous name then we have the add scenes and then we have the arc map right so under the new map and then the new layout where you bring in different layouts for your production you know so what i'm also not seeing here is i'm not seeing data view and layout view so which means this is this would be my data view and this would be my layout view from indication anyway so and then uh what else what else what i think that's what i can explain here then we'll go to analysis under analysis we have our toolbox our toolbox are here we have our, our model builder you remember there's model builder under the geoprocessing tools so I, this is our geoprocessing tools in here so we have the model builder and we have our buffer we have our summarize within our special join and then all of that we have our suitability model uh, these are new so we have the network analysis you know we have the geo uh, geostatistical wizard we have the business analysis and data interpol uh, interpol oh i don't know <laughs> all right we have the raster function and the function editor so all of this we we'll explore them together and then here is as i said you see with all of these two we have our geo processing down here so so these are the project option where you set your these are geo processing these are like most of the we have the model builder these are the tools within this place you can see as they are all available here you can see them down here all right so we'll go to view under the view we have the geoprocessing tool here itself we have convert that's your converting from agmap to accent from Ag, any of them all right so and then we have the catalog pan we have catalog view we have the content which is this is our content and our catalog as usual is to come out here so if i click on catalog view sorry this is our catalog view so it came out here so um, and then let's remove it anyway and then I, ju I just want to make you understand that they are virtually the same thing as from the ArcGIS desktop so I'm seeing something that I've not seen here before aviation I'm seeing indoors we we'll explore this together as the time goes by and then we have the edit this is where our editor is now after you've created your future class your shape files you use this to create future that you remember you create future tools the one we use in digitizing in gis desktop it's the same here then the modify is more like that editor where you click that select and you do some other and so this is it and then we have the select where you select let's say there isn't rectangle polygon or any of them it's still the same thing we have the annotation we have the move tool and all that then the topology which you can see copy code copy part all of those things it's just the way they partition them here but it's still the same thing and it does the same function then we have the snap where you put the snapping rules if i click on turn on snap you know what it means from the previous that's from the arcgis desktop it's the same here and then we have the imagery 
which we have the change dictation for remote sensing. You know what change dictation is now. We have the classification wizard and okay. But this this uh, whole stuff will not, I don't think it's going to work for when you want to do a remote sensing. You can use for that analysis anyway. So and then let's see what's on the shear. Oh wow. We have the new map project package. We have the map product package. You remember we have the how you can turn your map to your data into a map package. Here they've done everything for you. And then we have the new mobile map package. So all of these have been added and more. So we also have the layer, new layer package. Now we have the deep learning package where all your learn, your deep learning models are converted into a portable file for easy sharing. So it's more like, you see all of this, when you want to share all of these data, unless you want to, like I've done a work for more than maybe uh, 50 gig, 30 gig, 20 gig, 2 gig, you can, sharing those files are kind of very heavy. Now with a map package, you could have maybe 10 MB, 20 MB, with all of that in it. So when you send it to your client or your superior, in office they can open it and have everything you have uh, been working on that is that large so these are very important in this software so we have the project template the same thing it's all about all sharing and this is where you're going to export your map you're going to print your map you're going to do everything it's under the sharing all right so we have the graphics which we already see from that side yeah we have this is where you do all the writings like more like your arc um your data layout in arcgis desktop so i think this will be able to explain you know they rotate and flip the image all of them are the same it's just um a matter of an improvement and all that so last but not the least we have something up here which we didn't touch and uh, we have this is more like you open a new document, new map document. Then we have, this is you're saving, you're importing your map document, and then you're saving your work, normal savings. Then this is undo and this is redo. Okay, so uh, basically, I think we've done justice to the introduction video. So I will see you in the next video. So stay tuned and don't go nowhere.